Good morning, everybody. It is cold today. <laughs> I'm filming this beginning bit from my bed because I'm still very tired. And it is the Saturday, the 24th of October, and it's Armies on Parade Day. The armies of Nurgle shall march forth and maybe place or take a medal or something. I'll tell you what, I feel like Nurgle's rot got to me a little bit actually. Let's let's put this let's put this light on. Ah no no, let's turn the lights off, let's turn the lights off, that's not good. Um but yeah, so what are what is in store for us today? What will our competitors be like? We don't know, but we're gonna find out. Um yeah. <coughs> I need to wake up, um, but yeah. So we'll let's look at some armies. Might as well. Let's look at them.
Okie dokie guys, so it's time for a little bit of uh, reflection on uh, Armies on Parade this year. Or not only really this year, as I've said many times before, we're having two Armies on Parades this year because last year the store was shut for the uh, the annual one. But anyway, so, uh, some very, very, very good entries this year. Um, in regards to who came what and who came where, I unfortunately didn't place. You guys probably guessed that because I didn't post anything up on Facebook with me with a nice shiny medal or anything like that, which is cool. I mean, I wasn't in it to win it this year, really. It would have been nice if I did, but I wasn't in it to win it. Um, having taken gold previously, I would just in it to really show off the, the Nurgle army that I've amassed and things like that. Uh, in regards to whom came what and whom came where, um, the Ogre army finished gold and, to be honest, that is a well-deserved win because that Ogre army was absolutely fantastic and um, the overall board that it was on was very well thought out not too over the top but just tied it in nice with a nice wintry kind of alpine theme um, the overall paint job on every one of those ogre miniatures was just top notch 10 out of 10 out of this world even the captain america ogre just really really awesome and i spoke to the guy that was uh, whose army it was and he's actually got a hulk one He's currently working on an Iron Man one and a couple of the other Avengers as well, so that'd be really cool. I'd like to see that next year, like just on the front, the Avengers assembled of ogres. Although a Black Widow one, I'm not sure I would like to see that one. That might be a little bit on the gross side. But anyway, I digress. Um, silver Place, uh, Silver Place, who came and got the silver was really an entry that none of us thought was good a place, mainly because it wasn't really an army. It was two squads, I think a commander guy and a downed Thunderhawk terrain tile from Forge World, which was a little bit weird. Like I said, it was out of the blue. We really didn't think it was going to win. I mean, one of the squads wasn't even facing the right way for a start. Um, I, I have a bit of beef with that, really, because it was he kind of got the votes from two demographics of people. Uh, number one was little kids. And they were excited because they saw a spaceship, a big spaceship that crashed. Oh, cool, yeah, spaceship, yeah. So it was that. And those people that, that didn't really do the hobby that well, so they didn't really know what they were looking at. And as far as they were concerned, the Thunderhawk, he had made. He had made that terrain tile, which wasn't the case. It was a pre-bought Forge World one. You know what I'm talking about, the big crash Thunderhawk that's like half sticking in the ground. And they voted for him because they thought that he'd actually made that Thunderhawk, which I thought was a little bit, a little bit wrong. Um, like I say, it wasn't really a full army either. I was a little bit gutted for the other contestants because on a paint scale things, I mean, you guys have seen, you guys can be the judges of that. I felt that the other entrants had much better paint jobs as well, personally. But anyway, I, I digress. Um, and bronze was taken by one of my good friends, Ian, and um, with his fantastic orc army. And i got to say, that orc army was bloody brilliant. I, I drooled over that orc army for quite some time and... There was one model in particular that I just kept going back to, and I'm actually, I'm sorry Ian, I have uh, looted that idea. Uh, it's the big uh, Apache, the, the Orc Apache helicopter that you've got. It's absolutely brilliant, made out of a Storm Talon and a, um, a Death Copter, which is just really, really cool. So I've actually purchased myself one of those uh, Storm Talons, so I'll be uh, making one of those hopefully in the next coming weeks. But um, everything was brilliant, the jet bikes were amazing, the jet bike Death Copters were so cool. Um, my compressor's going off again. He wants to say his piece. Uh, no, anyway, let's turn you off. I'm talking! Damn it. Um, but yeah, so uh, there was aside from that, there was obviously the, the amazing um, jet bike death copters, an awesome big mech with shock attack gun, or a bike, which is really cool. You don't really see many of these shock attack gun bike combinations going around. And uh, I just love the um, call scheme as well. It was like... Um, uh, Crimson Fists, uh, but Orc style, which is really, really cool. I thought that was quite, yeah, that was that was quite good because the whole Rin's World incident with the, the Orcs and stuff, that was, that was that was quite good. I enjoyed that. Nice little nod to the fluff. Um, other memorable um, ones, there was, that was, that was, that was three. Uh, mine was, uh, I came fourth um, with the Nurgle. And there was five and six, there was the Stormcast Eternals, which were painted very, very nicely. Um, really really textbook paint job on there, just really, really crisp, really nice and vibrant, um, quite cartoony in the style, which I kind of like that style, which is really nice. And then the next one was um, the Age of Sigmar corn uh, stuff, which was really, really good. I like that an awful lot. Although I, the, the blood effects on the actual board, I think could have 
done with being a little bit shiny, a little bit more slick and more more fluid like. Um, but aside from that, that army was fantastically painted, and that um, Bloodthirster was just beautiful. Um, so yeah, some really really good turnouts this year. We had I think four. I think there were six people that actually bailed. There was supposed to be um, six. Uh, there was supposed to be twelve entrants in total, and there only ended up being six again, which is a little bit disappointing. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more diversity in um, the, uh, the, the the army. I mean, there was a lot of diversity anyway. You know, there was an even mix of um, what we call it. In 40k and fantasy, but I would just wish you know there would have been the other six entrants because that would have been really cool to see those guys as well. What were they? Maybe they'll show up next year. Uh, we don't know, but um, I really hope they do. Um, in total, it was a really, really good day. Um, got to chill out and talk to a lot of people. And one of the things that I I like about Armies on Parade personally is when people you know ask you know oh, you know who 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 did this and obviously. You, people point over, oh, it was this guy, and like, oh, how did you do this effect? How did you get all the pustules and the boils and things? And I'm like, oh, yes, this, this, this. And one of the, one person actually asked about the, um, the big great unclean one that I did, the big demon lord. Um, he's like, is that couscous underneath that green stuff? And I was like, yes, it is, good sir. Well done for recognising that. That's absolutely brilliant. It made my day that did a little bit. Uh, but anyway, it was a really, really good day. Entrants were awesome, and, uh, well, aside from the, the aforementioned Thunderhawk terrain tile, but we won't go over that anymore. Um, but yeah, so everything was really, really good. It was a good day. And I'll tell you something, the Orcs will be ready next year. Maybe I'll place again, maybe I won't. It'll be a fun day all around. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you now, and goodbye. Hey guys, and one other thing I forgot to mention, uh, my friend Ian that placed the third, you've got the bronze, he actually does uh, commission paintings as well guys, so uh, I'll put a link in the doobly-doo to his Facebook page, um, go over and check him out, if you like the paint job that you saw on the Orcs, you can do one like that for you too. Um, yeah, he's pretty good, he's a nice guy, give him a shout, I'll see you guys later, goodbye.